All right, let's do a sotogari today. I'm gonna grab Isa. All right, why was that bad? All right, it's a mistake that almost everyone makes in the beginning. Uh, and it's a very intuitive mistake to make. So I wanna go over it so you never have to do it again, okay? When I go soto, I wanna go step, pull, and lean, and I wanna bring her towards me. A lot of the times people wanna to sprint to this spot, so they sprint and pull their opponent this way. Okay, uh, the dead giveaway here is Issa's head going away from the technique. Okay, huge mistake. I see it all the time. People go soto, a soto, no good. Okay, the hand has to go toward the technique. It never returns in this direction. Okay, go forward, a soto guy. Okay, another thing that I see commonly in Osotogari is when you go into the Osotogari here, I don't sufficiently control the head and the shoulder, so her head tips away, okay? If her head goes away from me, she can shift her weight away from the technique, okay? That's no good. Suppose I go Osotogari, it's incomplete, off balance is good, I hook the leg, I don't control the head, she shifts the head away, uh-oh, right? I'm due for a counter. So once I go Osotogari, I want to keep controlling the head throughout the whole time, okay? Huge Osotogari, great. Shallow Osotogari, I control the head. Can you return your head? Nope. Osoto. Oh! I have to finish. I control the head. All right. Did that. 